quick question. When you do UI automation, what's your favorite type of selector? So do you prefer to check by ID, um, name, class name, do you prefer XPath? One of the most easy to understand selectors in Cypress, for example, is the ci.contains. And if you have a simple page where you can where you can just um, click on a button or if you have just one button, you can just say, okay, I want um, to click on the element that contains add element. And once I do that, um, I want to click on the element that contains delete. Let me just change this one to be add element, we save it, and let's just run this test. Takes a little bit to load. Just going to pause the video until it does. I want to do end-to-end -end testing on Chrome. Let's just start it. And we want this. And our test passed. Now, did you ever think, or we, we're kind of hard coding this add element, this delete. Now, what if here, for example, it would be delete the element. We would have to write delete the element. And here, um, what if um, the text changes to add, from add element to add a new element? Well, in Cypress, you can actually use regular expressions in the selectors. So instead of doing add element, we can say, I want you to um, click on the element that ends with the word element. And to do that, we just do slash, then we give it the element, and then we give the dollar sign to indicate that we want um, so the dollar sign means give me or match um, the element that contains or that ends in this case with the word element. And let me rerun it. And you can see here it passed. For delete, as I said, what if we want to do um, show me or um, check in this case um, the element that starts with delete. Well, we do a similar, element. let's say not start with, it starts with del. Yeah, why not start with del? And Cypress will run again, and the element passes. Or, sorry, the test passes. So, if you're not familiar with regular expressions, um, just ping me and I can recommend some really, really good resources how to learn regular expressions. But for me, when I discovered this tip in Cyprus, it opened up some nice or a little bit more flexibility in my tests. I mean, imagine, like I said, that your text or the text of the button changes. Imagine that you have to test maybe um, a site which has internationalization, so where you have buttons changing um, um, the text based on the selected language. Then you can create a regex um, that will actually pass and click and check for the same element regardless of uh, the language. Give it a try. I mean, this was a trick a trick which I think can help. Give it a try, write in the comments what you think.
And as always, thank you for watching the video and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one and bye bye.